bostonherald.com boston herald radio Welcome back. This is Morning Meeting. I'm Jacqueline Cashman. She is Hillary Chabot. I want to thank our friends at WMEX 1510 as well as bostonheraldradio.com as well as WCRN 830 for listening to us this morning. 617-619-6400 is the number to call us or you can text us at 617-286-5633. Okay, so I bought my apartment three years ago Mm -hmm. and from the very beginning our blinds did not work correctly. It was like, you know, you do that like shimmy and you're trying to get oh, them yeah. straight, but they don't go straight. Yep. So, you know, you spend a lot of money when you first buy a house. The last thing you want to do is like, you know, revamp and spend more money and what have you. Mm-hmm. And I just assumed it would be like this big project. So I let it go for a long time. Finally, I call up one company. They come out. They um, wanted basically my firstborn child for the price of the blinds wow, that they yeah. wanted to install in my house. And so I said, yeah, no, I'm I'm not going to do that. So then finally, our blinds break a few months ago. And oh. now we – it was just a disaster. We like It was like a shoestring essentially holding them on. And so I was like, let me find another company. Let me see if I can find something that will come out, give me a free consultation. Mm-hmm. So – I just came across, I called a few different companies and some actually charge you just to come out, just to come out and show you their products. Right. Like 75 or or $100. I mean, it's really not cheap. I mean, maybe the cost could even be more, but that's what I was quoted. And I'm like, I'm not paying somebody $100 and then only insult me when they get to my house and want to mm-hmm. charge me too much for blinds. So anyways, I ended up reaching three-day blinds. I got hooked up with this wonderful woman, Sarah Morn, who's actually in studio right now with us. And it was during like the crazy snowstorm mayhem. Yes. And as many of you know, as I talk about, I live in the South End. And so parking, as you can imagine, was a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Sarah still managed to come in. She schleps in with all of these different uh, bags and boxes of all the different blind options that I have. So... She walks me through sort of what my options could be. And so one thing I thought about was, oh, maybe we should do shutters. You know, maybe that would be a nice sort of thing to change it up. And I was Mm -hmm. like considering the design element, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And that's a major investment. I mean, shutters are way more expensive than like a honeycomb blind or something. Mm -hmm. But I was like, let's just let's let's see how much it is and what have you, which is the most expensive option. Okay, Sarah says to me. While I'd love to make the money off of that commission, <laughs> it's not great for your house because I live on street the street level mm-hmm. and I don't get a ton of light in, in my room. And so she said, yeah, I mean, we can do it, but she really didn't recommend it because it um, the way that – well, Sarah – Yes, let's, let's welcome hear from you. Why, why don't we hear it from the horse's mouth? I mean, we have you here. I don't need to paraphrase the whole conversation. Sarah Moore in a three-day blinds. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, so first, tell me, uh, tell our listeners why uh, shutters can be great and why, for, for instance, for myself, it was not the right option. Well, shutters are, of course, great look, fantastic upgraded look, great resale value, but they do darken a room. Almost a third of your light is going to be gone from a shutter. So looking at your room and you said, the first thing you said to me was, I love light. I said, that's not the product for you. Exactly. And again, she could have made a lot of money. I mean, you know, be a one hit wonder all, make a bunch of money off this lady and then never see her again. But she... She thought long term. Well, yeah. She, besides thought, she thought about maybe a relationship with Boston Herald Radio. Who Indeed. Knows? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, the the idea that you start off by saying how much you love light and, uh, of course, your knowledge about what the shutters does, that's a, that's absolutely the way to go. So before we get into more about uh, three-day blinds, I just want to finish this, this story. So Tom Shattuck, the executive producer here at Boston Herald Radio, has this image of me that I'm this, like, alpha dog and I tell my husband what to do and he listens to me. And Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. my husband, Trevor. Trevor? Trevor? Are you listening to me, Trevor? <laughs> um, and it's absolutely not the case so uh anyway so sarah and i were working together my husband was um going to be home in like 20 minutes or so but i didn't want to make sarah wait because frankly you came in during a snowstorm your car was like at this crazy angle because you were literally parked in a snowbank so we came up with a solution um for some blinds in the family room and then we went into my son's room found some great uh blackout blinds as well my husband gets home Blows up the whole plan. Uh oh. He's like, nope, that's not that's not really what I was thinking. I mean, is this is this not Absolute does that truth. normally happen? Do you normally have a husband that comes in and takes the design away from a wife? I mean, that's that can't be normal. It's you know what? It, it every once in a while you'll get somebody, but most of the time they're like whatever you want, hon. Right. right. You know, the blinds aren't their priority. He's not a whatever you want no. type, of, type of guy, is he? <laughs> no, he was not. Absolutely no, not. Absolutely not. Anyways, so uh, we're talking about you know going through everything and the price. I'm not. I'm not. Listen. It was insane how inexpensive it was. I really couldn't believe the pricing. I think it was like, tell me if I'm wrong. I want to say it was like 150 per window. 
You know, I, I'd have to look at your invoice. That, that, but, you that know, about, that's about start. what it yeah. was, like $150 mm-hmm. per window, which is not a lot of money when literally the other company that I got quotes from was like 900 to to $1,000 a window Whoa. for freaking blinds. Wow. I mean, nothing special. I wasn't having like, you know, gold <laughs> <laughs> painted on the windows or anything. This was just a blind. So uh, incredibly reasonably priced. So we just, we bought it right on the spot. I mean, mm-hmm. I gave her my credit card right then and there. And of course, I'm incredibly impatient if you don't know that about me. Mm. Uh, and so is Trevor. And so the other thing was, is, you know, you call yourself three day blinds, but can you do it really quickly? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. You actually gave me an earlier date. It ended up, I think, taking a week, but that's partially because I couldn't do it as quickly as you were able to actually accommodate me. Cause I was thinking, oh, they call themselves three day blinds, but it really means like three week blinds, you know? Right. <laughs> that was like my thought, which I was like, okay with even a three week deal. But no, I mean, they were literally installed within a week, which was was insane. Um, so that is a question that you often get, right? I mean, can you really do it in three days? Absolutely. That's probably, I mean, I think they almost uh, question that. You know, yeah, yeah. you walk in a house, can you really do these in three days? Right. And the answer is yes. I mean, there are, there are certainly, there are circumstances that we cannot. If it's oversized, it can't go in the air, it has to go on the ground. Or if it's, we do, we have beautiful custom draperies. Custom draperies are not a three-day product. Um, we do them in about 15 days, which is uh, most custom draperies is six to eight weeks. Hmm. So we still are ahead of the game on custom draperies. But most of our product is manufactured, comes out of Irvine, California. We make it, we manufacture it, we lifetime warranty it, and we can get it here in three days. Yes. And the other thing, the installation process. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Trevor was one to make sure he could be there when the when the installer came the to man the make house. sure it's yeah done correctly. You mm-hmm. know you know those installers, they can really <laughs> mess things up, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm going to have to postpone my meetings this morning. I'm like, okay, man at the house. So I go off to work and um, Trevor stays behind. He calls me up and I swear he was like twirling his hair. He was so excited. He was like, this process was amazing. Not only was the guy incredibly professional, Mm -hmm. but my big concern, as you know, Jacqueline, is the choking hazard of the... (laughs) (laughs) You knew this was coming, right? The choking hazard, but it's serious. No, I absolutely the choking yeah. hazard from from the blinds, right? I mean absolutely. that that string you can risk yes. your child, especially Hudson at the age of two, can choke. So, anyways, he he purposely made it shorter so that way Hudson couldn't actually really wrap it around uh, um, his his neck, and also showed us like best um, places to to rest it. it you mm-hmm. know, um, so that was really helpful. Like not only was he really did a very good job in installation, but also he noticed that we had a son and said, Hey, I want to give you guys some tips, which I thought was also really cool. They're great. I mean, the installers, that's part of the package that we offer. And I think a lot of companies don't, I call it like a one-stop shop. I show up with the product. We go in, we pick the product out. I measure, do all the measuring and we have our own installers. They're not subcontracted. Custom fit installation is our installer here in new England, here in Boston. He's fantastic. He has four, four gentlemen and a woman that work for him, and they are professional, they know what they're doing, and they get it done really quick. Really well, quick. you said something about how uh, you you manufacture it in, in this place, so maybe, and that goes to how quickly you can do this, right? I mean, this is why you can do this so quickly. Can exactly. you explain a little bit about well, that? Well, there's no middleman. I mean, when I put the order in, as Jacqueline said, I was literally sitting at her house. I pulled out the computer, measured the windows, and put the order right in, went home, and pushed it. And it goes right from me right to who's manufacturing them. So there's there's none of the middlemen that kind of hold things up sometimes. Normally, you know? who would it go to if it w- if there was a middleman? Who would be that middleman? Um, or- whoever's producing the blinds. I mean, there are thousands of blind companies out there. And, you know, if you go to a box company, they sell 10 different people's blinds. Mm-hmm. So they're the middlemen. They have okay. to go through them and then uh, hire an installer. Whereas we go right through three-day blinds, manufacturer makes these. And you mentioned big box stores because um, after I was so disgusted, Discouraged by this woman that came out and um, wanted my firstborn child for just some new window treatments in my house, I ended up going to a big box store and just to see if maybe I could do it myself. Right. Because um, my best friend Regina Winslow, as you know, as we nicknamed Nugglesworth, her husband is like Mister Fix It. I mean, he belongs in like a home improvement show, and Trevor is not that. Uh, he definitely is not that hands on. But I thought, you know, 
we can handle this because Regina's husband said, yeah, go to a big no box problem. store. You can do it. Measure your window and it'll all be fine. So I was like, oh, maybe Trevor can handle that. So we go to the big box store and the the people there at this one store that we went to just wasn't informed. Like couldn't, it, you really needed to know exactly what you wanted. Right. They weren't there to give you any sort of consultation. Like, yeah, you could have bought a cheap blind and they would have set you up with an installer, mm-hmm. but they weren't there to advise you at all. Yep. And I needed a little bit of help yep. because as I pointed out, I would have gone with a product that frankly... Frankly, wouldn't have given me the light that I needed. Mm -hmm. I do want to note uh, for those that are listening, Three Day Blinds did not contact Jacqueline Cashman at Boston Herald Radio and say, hey, let's do an endorsement deal. Jacqueline Cashman contacted Three Day Blinds after I had a really good experience with you guys and said, you should be advertising on Herald Radio. More people should know about you. I will endorse your brand. I'm very happy with it. Uh, so I just want to point that out that um, I did pay for my blinds. You didn't you know, offer me free <coughs> blinds to say nice things about you. Can you give her some water, please, yeah. Fitzy? Um, as she's dying here, Fitzy is uh, on Twitter <laughs> and uh, you know, doing anything but trying to help our lovely guest here. So thank you for that, Fitzy. Uh, no, I'm just kidding around. So... Um, the other neat thing, I mean, it seems like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is, uh, you know, a lot of times you need to go out to some place, look at their blinds. You don't get a sense of what it's going to look like in your home. Uh, talk talk to me. I mean, it sounds like you go directly to, to the person in their house. And- oh, yeah. That, I mean, that's part of the package. As I said, one-stop shopping. Um, we have all the product in our car. And that's a difference, I think, especially in the city, because I work in the city a lot. Yes. People don't know where to go. They they have no idea how to measure their own windows. And they really don't necessarily know what they want, as Jacqueline said. So I kind of come in with my bags. I mean, I find out what they want, what they're mm-hmm. looking for, and I schlep in and out of the She's door. She's a bag lady. Bag. Yeah, literally bag lady. <laughs> and, you know, usually within 15, 20 minutes, we've kind of narrowed it down to exactly what will work perfect for the windows, um, you know, and we go from there. But I have the actual product that you can take. And, and that's also important, too, because if you think about it, you go to, like, a, a blind store, you go to a big box store, and you see the fabrics there for different blinds. Yeah, but they're, it's, like, squares or something. Yeah, you can't even tell. Exactly, yeah. they're squares. Or um, colors look different in your own home. Right. You know, so what what looks one way at um, a showroom might look very different in your own house. And so it's nice to actually take a sample of the blind and put it up to your window and mm-hmm. say, uh, no, that actually doesn't look right. Or, you know, she showed me one product. She said, you know, if you want a lot of light, maybe you'd like this one. But she warned to me, warned me saying, but you'll lose some of the, um, the privacy element because mm-hmm. I, I live on the street level and so right. you can kind of see in. And so I held it up to the window and I said, yeah, you're right. That too would provide me, um, you know, not enough, uh, privacy and mm-hmm. would be too transparent. Um, so it was really nice to have that little, uh, that trial that you're able to do, right? I think that's, yeah. I mean, I think most people want to see a product before they buy it. And if you have to drive in the car, go to somewhere, pick it up, bring it home, nine times out of 10, you, you're going to make three or four trips yeah. because you don't come home with the right product. Um, and then the whole measuring thing is a whole nother kettle. Oh of fish. yeah, no, I never got that right. <laughs> yeah. So I think when you when you have the product right there, you can hold it up in a house. You can match it. You know, if you're trying to match it to woodwork, you can match it to woodwork. If you're trying to match it to bedding or walls or paint color, you know, it's all right there, and you can hold it right up. Sarah Morin of Three Day Blind, I want to thank you so much for coming out today. Um, we will be having you on a few more times. We have a slew of questions um, that we um, sort of had listed prepared for you. We didn't get to them all because, of course, I had to make it about myself. No surprise. <laughs> um, but again, I want to thank you, of course, for coming here today, also for providing me with blinds that really um, we love. I mean, again, you know, we have a lot of light in our house now. We do have the privacy. And my Hudson- Bear. Hudsy Bear sleeping through the shades. morning. Oh, yeah, he's got his hands behind his head. He's like chilling in his room, all happy as can be. Uh, so, if you want to have the same sort of enjoyment in your house, have a little spruced up house for spring, you can give them a call at 1 888 915 3329. Again, the number is 1 888 915 3329. Or you can go online and visit them. Again, it's the number three. Don't spell out the word three. It's threedayblinds.com slash Herald Radio. It's threedayblinds.com slash Herald Radio. Boston Herald. Boston Herald.com. Boston Herald Radio.